Hey guys, this is Dee, and I have another video today, and this is another dating video, but this one is for the gals today. So this one is, I'm going to be trying, try and keep it quite eloquent here and quick so it doesn't drag on forever, but this one is for when you're dating a gentleman and things are going really good and you feel a connection and you feel a relationship building underneath the layers here and the text messaging is getting a little hot and you know the relationship is picking up a little bit and you can feel something starting and it's going well right so you've got a good connection started and it's heading in the right direction so things seem great and then he goes cold right so the texts get shorter you get one word answers you go hours and hours without replies the hearts and roses and flowers all stop coming in the emojis like you know you know what it feels like when, when a guy goes cold right it's like fight, flight, or freeze, and they have frozen. So I want to talk about that. I want to talk about the three reasons why I think that happens, why I believe that goes on, and tell you exactly what to do about it. So this is the first reason. The first reason is I think men believe they're too busy. So they may believe that they're very busy, they've got a lot going on, and they don't have time to engage in a conversation, a text conversation, or get into any long, long drawn out conversations with a woman. And they avoid conversations because they don't want it to turn into that. So they just avoid communication for a little while. So I think they believe that. So there's, there's, there's a bit to that, and we're gonna get into that. And I get into the part about what to do about this and why I think these things happen. So. There's a lot to that, but we'll get there. The second reason is, is because men and women are different. Women jump in quickly. So a man can chase us and chase us. And then, and we could be, we, we, we could be interested, be cautious, be all those things. But then all of a sudden we're hot. We get, we understand, we, we feel like we, we've connected, we've liked them, we decide, we get like, we, we run hot, women run hot. So once we want something, we decide we want it, we want it, right? And we know, and we know what we're looking for in a man. We know we've, we've dated a lot. We know the patterns and behaviors. We know the habits. We know what we're looking for in a man. And when we find it, we want to hold on to it. And we want that man, we want to convey to that man that we know that that's what we want and we've made that decision and that we're interested. So we do that by texting and texting and calling and calling. And I feel like men feel like this is like they're feeling trapped. They start to feel like they're feeling trapped and like we are clingy and they get scared. And I think in, in their, resp their response is to just shut down, is to go cold. And really, we're trying to call them and say, hey, are you okay? Um, is, are we okay? Is everything, what's going on? Like, where'd you go? What's happening? And we just want to know what's happening. And they convey it as, oh my gosh, she won't leave me alone. She won't leave me alone. And they're totally... They're, they're shut down, right? So, and this is just a difference between the genders and the different way we communicate, right? So there's, there's reasons behind that. And I'll talk about that too. And then the third reason is because I believe they think they just don't know what they want. And this is, this is a problem because they can not know what they want for a little while, but there's a time limit on this. You, you got to give this, this is on the clock. They can't not, not know what they want for long enough because if they've been dating you, for long enough that you know you want them, then they should want you too. And if they don't know, you have to decide if you want a man that doesn't know if he wants you. So here's the problem with these three things. First of all, the first problem with the f number one, with he's too busy. If a man is into, into us and interested, he'll be busy with us. He'll be too busy texting us. That's what he'll be busy doing because as human beings, we chase, we prioritize what our priorities are, what's most important to us. So if he's saying he's too busy, then unfortunately, I think he's just not that interested because we're not the priority and we're not that important or he, he would be busy texting us, right? Okay, so that's number one. Number two, I feel like subconsciously, when they feel like we jump in head over heels and we are 100% in quickly, that it decreases our value and our personal value. And 
men are looking for, just like we are looking for a person, a partner that has is of high value, someone who has respect for themselves, someone who is confident, someone who has dignity. And I think men feel subconsciously that if we are ready to jump in 100% without really knowing them all that well, um, how much do we value ourselves? How much value do we place on ourselves? How much confidence do we have in ourselves? How much self-respect do we have for ourselves? And that's not what they're looking for in a woman, a woman that doesn't have those qualities. They want a woman that has those qualities. So I think they feel unsure and they get scared. They get unsure because our behavior went the way we try and connect with them and the way we try to communicate with them gives off that impression. So that that's that's the problem with number two is that we are conveying a message that we don't have a lot of self self respect and, and value ourselves very highly when actually we really do we're just really trying hard to communicate and that's another difference between the communication between the way the the do, two genders communicate right so and the third one again we already discussed that is if they know they don't know after a period of time after we've been dating for a while after we've been seeing each other for a period of time you're not looking for marriage you're not looking for a huge commitment you're just looking to date if they're unsure that they want to date you is that really someone you want to date someone who's not sure about you about dating you even so at that point you have a decision to make so the way to resolve all of these things i believe is to let it go and watch the clock start the timer I would see you need you know your relationship and you know how much time to give a person based on what you're comfortable with but for me I would give somebody about a week I, I would leave them alone you need to leave them alone no texting no calling let them have their time they have feelings too they need to work through them and just like if we needed time we would hope they'd give us that respect and give us some time we're going to respect them. We're going to respect their need for a little bit of space because they've conveyed to us clearly that they need a little bit of space because they're not communicating back and forth with us. So we're going to give them their space. But that that's on a clock. That only goes on for so long because you do value yourself and you do have dignity and pride and self-respect and you're not going to sit around forever waiting and hoping forever that someone's going to get back to you. And you're also not going to engage in a relationship where you receive a text once every two days or you receive one word text messages or you don't ever have a phone conversation or things like of this nature right so you have to you're and the way you're going to demonstrate that is by giving them this time but then you're going to have to cut it off you got to end it because they have demonstrated through the behavior that they're not that interested and they're not that into us. So I wouldn't be rude about it. I wouldn't be hurtful. I would send a text message after about a week. For me, I would say a week. For you, you have to decide your own time frame and how long you can deal with that. But for me, it would be a week. And I would send a message and say something simple. And I would say something like, I understand. Maybe I would, I would um, engage in their I'm too busy or whatever the reason is and it doesn't matter at this point so I would say you know what I understand you're really busy or you have a lot going on right now or whatever the reason being that you need some space right now and I'm going to give you that space I respect you enough and I value you to give you that space I think you're wonderful and I wish you the best and leave it at that and that would be the end of it um I think if you have any hope, if you want this person to connect with you again and they've gone cold on you, the only hope you have is to leave them be and give them that week and let them remember what it's like before you were in their life. Because if they really do want you and really are interested and miss that connection, they'll get in contact with you again and they'll, re they'll, they'll reinstate that connection with you. But if they don't get back to you, then they aren't that they aren't that interested and they don't miss it and they're okay without you and you don't want someone who's okay without you you want someone who needs you and there's a difference between the genders women fall hard or, or fast sorry women fall fast and men fall hard so we 
we decide quickly if a man is right for us because we know exactly what we're looking for in a man. We know exactly what we want, okay? So we decide very quickly. But men don't decide as quickly as us. It takes them a little longer. It takes them a little bit more time than us. However, we move on quicker as well. Once we're, Once it's over, we're able to move on. Whereas men, it takes them a little longer to move on as well. It, they're not as quick to move on. It's harder for them. So that's that's the difference. And we, we flow different. We work differently. And that's what makes dating challenging at the beginning. And if you if you get to that point where you have to end it and call it and send that text message, don't put in that text message, oh, if you change your mind or if you end up having some time later, call me. Or if you change your mind, give me a text. <laughs> I'll be free. I'll be here. I'll be available. Don't say that because you might not be. The point of it is, is that you're dating. You're looking to move on. And this is the whole point of dating is finding someone that you work it works with and finding someone that it doesn't. And as much as it hurts, sometimes we have to acknowledge that maybe it wasn't right for the other person. And we have to let that go and move on and date and keep dating. And... You can't say to someone, get a hold of me later, I might be free, I might be available. Because again, you're showing you're showing and demonstrating that you really don't value yourself very well because you're saying, I'll wait around for you here because, you know, I'm not worth that much and, you know, nobody else really wants me and I'm just going to just sit around here and wait for you. When <laughs> really, there you'll meet somebody else. There are other people, there are other men that will want you. You're, you're a wonderful person and you're obviously... A, a, a fun and engaging and enjoyable person to be around or this gentleman wouldn't have, wouldn't have dated you in the first place so obviously you could be in another relationship you could be have moved on by then so don't put that in your text message just end it kindly and respectfully and just end it that way be be respectful be a big a bigger person about it and make it clear and that's establishing, that's that's demonstrating your values, that you value yourself and that you have self-respect. And you need to demonstrate that in everything you do in life every single day. And in dating, it's no different. You have to set your limits and set your boundaries and know what you can take and put up with and know what, how much you can handle and know what you can't handle. And you you shouldn't handle that because that can't go on forever. So ladies, I hope this was thorough and I hope you understand there's a movie I think every woman needs to watch at least once a year and it's called he's not that into me and I think it's the best movie ever made because it's a good reminder of what it looks like when a man is interested in you versus when he's not and we get caught up very quickly once we decide we want someone and we get hurt very quickly when they decide they don't want us and it's unnecessary because dating is about mixing and finding the right person and everyone you date isn't going to be the right person and just because it might be right for us doesn't mean it's the right person because if it's not right for them then it's not right for us either we want someone who loves us and values us as much at least as much as we value and love ourselves. right so if they don't love us and value us as at least as much as we love and value ourselves then it's not the right person for us so we need to pick up and move on and date somebody, someone new and date somebody else and let that person, let that, let that gentleman find the right person for him, right? So that's all. That's all I wanted to say today. And um, I hope I haven't offended anybody or hurt anyone's feelings. And guys, if you want to comment, send me a comment. If you have anything to say, I'd love to hear back from you. And gentlemen, you're welcome to comment as well. And if you disagree, if you think I'm completely off base, go for it and let me know. You're not going to hurt my feelings. And um, I love the conversation. So I will see you guys soon. Have a lovely day.